This is Season 1, Episode 1. I'm Jake, also known as the Geek Doctor, and we're filming Geek It. Computers have been around for a long time. The word computer was first recorded as being used in 1613 and was originally used to describe a human who performed calculations. But the first mechanical computer was invented by Charles Bandage in 1822. The first programmable computer was the Z1, originally created by German Konrad Zeus in his parents' living room in 1936 to 1938 and was considered to be the first electrical, mechanical, binary, programmable modern computer and really the first functional computer. Now there are more than 84% of United States households which have some type of home computer. One of the richest men alive is part of the growing business of computers. All this coming up. So what exactly is a computer? The definition of a computer is any tool that does any type of prescribed mathematical and logical operations at high speed. But the modern day computers are mostly electronic and come in many forms. You have your desktop, like the computer being built in the time lapse, the laptop, and other well-known forms which include the tablet, the video game console, the all-in-one computer, even your microwave is a type of computer, and much more. But what exactly is the average home computer? First is the processor, also known as brains of the computer. When building a computer on your own, I recommend choosing your processor before you get anything else. I'm running an AMD 8 core processor. Located on top of the processor is a CPU cooler. You'll need to run an operating system, and you'll need to download it on something. So the next thing within your computer is a hard drive. The hard drive is your storage that runs both your operating system and any other programs on your computer. There are two common hard drives, HDD and the SSD. HDD stands for hard disk drive and is the most common drive. And the SSD stands for solid state drive. You will want to be able to run programs and daily tasks without downloading them to their hard drive. You will need RAM, also known as random accessible memory. This will help you search the internet and play online games. But what's a computer without some type of disk drive? A disk drive is a device that reads and writes to DVDs, CDs, and now Blu-rays. When you're playing your DVDs, Blu-rays, and CDs, you might want to be able to see it on your screen, or in my case, multiple screens. To do this, you'll need a video card. A video card is also known as a graphics card. This will let you view your video, play games, mine bitcoins, and render videos. These items aren't a computer until they are pulled together. To do this, you'll need a motherboard. A motherboard is like your circuitry system in your body. The motherboard brings information from part to part. With all these wires, and I'm usually not that good at cable management, so I really need a way of holding everything in a solid area. For this reason, you need a case. This will finalize your build. So that was our first episode. I hope you like it. Check us out on Gmail, abductionsproductions at gmail.com. Our Twitter and website will be up soon. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. I'm Geek Doc and I'm saying, keep on geeking.